Amdahl's Law Amdahl's Law is a formula that explains how much faster a task can become when you improve the resources of a system. Beer-Lambert Law It is an empirical relationship that correlates the quantity of light absorbed by a material to the concentration and thickness of the material itself. Ampere's Circuit Law Ampere's Circuit Law tells how the magnetic field behaves around a wire or circuit that contains electricity. Newton's Law of Action and Reaction for any force applied to an object or surface, that object pushes back with equal force. Leibniz's Law Leibniz's Law states that there cannot be separate objects or entities that have all their properties in common. If two objects share all the same characteristics and properties, then they are the same thing. Darcy's Law Darcy's Law is an equation that describes the flow of a fluid through a porous medium. For example, ground coffee represents the porous medium and hot water flowing through the coffee represents the fluid. According to Darcy's Law, the flow of water through the coffee will depend on the pressure difference between the hot water and the air in the coffee, the permeability of the coffee itself and the viscosity of the water. First Law of Thermodynamics The first law states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but can only change shape. The thermal energy contained in the coffee is transferred to the surrounding environment, causing the drink to cool. In the case of ice cream, heat energy from the surrounding environment is absorbed by the ice cream, leading to its melting. Second Law of Thermodynamics The second law states that due to increasing entropy, you cannot return to the same energy state. Energy concentrated in one place will always flow to places of lower concentration. In this case, since the temperature of the coffee is higher than that of the cup, heat transfers spontaneously from the drink to the cup. The cup heats up, reaching a thermal equilibrium with the coffee. Third Law of Thermodynamics The third law states that all molecules completely stop their movement when a system reaches the temperature of absolute zero. But this would be impossible because there will always be some residual form of energy or motion in the particles, even if they are extremely small. Newton's Universal Law of Gravitation Newton's universal law of gravitation states that there is a force of attraction between two objects. The more massive the objects and the closer they are, the greater the gravitational attraction force between them. Hubble's Law Earth is located in a galaxy called the Milky Way and is surrounded by numerous other galaxies in the universe. Hubble's Law states that galaxies are moving away from each other, and the speed of this recession is proportional to their mutual distance. Kirchhoff's Circuit Law Kirchhoff's circuit law states that for any node or junction in an electrical circuit, the sum of the currents flowing into that node is equal to the sum of the currents flowing from that node. This principle arises from the conservation of charge, Charles's law. Also known as the law of volume, it states that the volume of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature, provided that the pressure and quantity of gas are kept constant. Lavoisier's Law Lavoisier's Law, also known as the Law of Conservation of Mass, asserts that in a closed system during a chemical reaction, the total mass of the substances involved remains constant. This means that the combined mass of the reactants equals the combined mass of the products. Pascal's Law Pascal's Law, or Fluid Pressure Transmission Principle, states that if you apply pressure at one point in a confined, incompressible liquid, this pressure is transmitted through the liquid so that the same pressure change occurs everywhere. Avogadro's Law Avogadro's law states that for a given mass of ideal gas, the volume and quantity of the gas are directly proportional if the temperature and pressure are constant. Faraday's law. Faraday's law is a physical law that describes the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction, which occurs when the flow of the magnetic field through the surface delimited by an electric circuit is variable over time. Metcalfe's law. Metcalfe's Law gauges the importance and influence of networks by evaluating the connections between users. When there are only two participants, they can only connect with each other, creating one edge. As the number of participants grows, there are more unique connections. Snell's Law of Refraction Snell's Law of Refraction describes how light changes direction when it passes from one transparent medium to another. Graham Law Graham's law describes the relationship between the rate of diffusion or effusion of a gas and its molecular weight. If one gas has a molecular weight four times that of another, it will diffuse at half the rate through a small hole. Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Kepler's laws describe how planets orbit the sun. The first law states that all planets orbit the sun in elliptical paths with the sun located at one of the foci. The second law states that a line connecting a planet to the sun covers an equal area in equal periods of time. If you measure the area created by drawing a line from the Earth to the sun and track its movement over a six-month period, the area will be the same regardless of where the Earth is in its orbit when the measurements begin. The third law states that the squares of the orbital periods of the planets are directly proportional to the cubes of the semi-major axes of their orbits. This implies that the period for a planet to orbit the sun increases rapidly with the radius of its orbit. Newton's Law of Force and Acceleration Newton's Law of Force and Acceleration states that if you apply a force to an object, it will accelerate or change its speed in proportion to its mass. Henry's Law 
Henry's law describes the solubility of a gas in a liquid. It states that the amount of gas dissolved in a liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas above the surface of the liquid. Newton's Law of Inertia Newton's Law of Inertia states that a moving object remains in motion unless acted upon by an external force. Juren's Law Juren's Law describes the relationship between the rise length of a liquid in a capillary tube and its physical properties. This means that the narrower the tube, and therefore the smaller the diameter, the greater the liquid will rise. If you have four tubes with the same diameter but different temperatures, there may be influences on the rise of the liquid due to thermal variations. Hooke's Law Hooke's Law states that the force required to extend or compress a spring by a certain distance scales linearly with that distance. If you double the extension distance, the required force will be twice as much. If you triple the distance, the necessary force will be three times as much, and so on. Torricelli's Law Torricelli's Law describes the separation speed of a jet of water. This law suggests that the speed of the jet depends on the amount of gravitational potential energy converted to kinetic energy during fluid flow. If you lower the jet, the speed will decrease. If you raise the jet, the speed will increase. Boyle's Law Boyle's Law states that in conditions of constant temperature, the pressure of a perfect gas is inversely proportional to its volume, i.e., that the product of the pressure of the gas by the volume it occupies is constant. Stokes's Law Stokes's law is a mathematical expression that describes the force of friction acting on a sphere in laminar motion within a fluid. This force is proportional to the speed of the sphere relative to the fluid and to the coefficient of the fluid. Mendel's law of dominance and uniformity. Mendel's law of dominance and uniformity states that crossing two homozygous individuals for a trait where one is dominant and the other is recessive results in a first generation of heterozygous individuals. All individuals in the first generation exhibit the dominant trait, while the recessive trait does not appear. Mendel's Law of Segregation Mendel's Law of Segregation states that during the formation of inheritance choices, the two versions of a trait separate. This means that a parent can only pass on one version of the trait, and the children can inherit only one version from each parent. Mendel's Law of Independent Assortment Mendel's Law of Independent Assortment says that different traits separate and are passed down independently in the next generations. This idea was checked with chromosomes, but sometimes when genes are on the same chromosome, they can be linked and not follow this rule. Benford's Law Benford's Law or Law of First Significant Numbers describes the probability distribution of the first digits in many instances of real data collections. Bayes Ballot's Law Bayes Ballot's Law states that in the Northern Hemisphere, a person who stands facing away from the wind has high pressure on the right and low pressure on the left. In the Southern Hemisphere, the reverse would be true. Ohm's Law Ohm's Law connects the primary electrical quantities, voltage, current intensity, and resistance in an electrical circuit. Imagine the wire as a tube through which electricity moves. Voltage represents the force driving the electricity through the tube, while resistance reflects the difficulty of its flow. To increase the electric current flowing through the tube, we can either apply more force or widen the tube. To decrease the current, we can take the opposite approach. If you like this format, check out this video. YouTube thinks that you'll like it. Join the Discord server in description to discuss this video.